floss tube, Kathy Roganella here of Inspired Needle, and I'm just picking up part two here of what came back with me from Market. And you'll see I have some um, temporary racks set up with, uh, these are the threads that we carry with us like to celebration of needlework, or if I take them to my retreat or needlework galleria, um, so you can see where Got quite a few little blanks of the threads that, these are uh, gentle art sampler colors, so quite a few holes there. And I heard that um, they had a close for stay at home orders uh, in Ohio, so they're not shipping or dying, so we can expect these holes to expand a bit. So please be patient with them. Um, we're all doing the best we can to get things out. Uh, I'm ordering as I see the need, ordering you know new threads, new whatever, patterns, whatever we run out of. So just if it's taken, if I'm shipping whatever I need to ship or whatever I have in stock, let's put it that way, and then filling in as I'm, as the stuff comes in. So you can see here, Quite a few threads have come in, the long ones. I'm just hanging them up. No one's coming in the store, so I don't feel the need to twist them and make them look pretty because it's just me picking the threads and getting them out in the order. Uh, it's shipping them out in your orders. So, But um, let's go back along, and we'll show you what else came in the shop. Um, this is stuff we picked up at Market from Needlework Press. These are two designs. This is last year's that was released at market, a Deventer Duo. This is brought to you from GGR and Needlework Press. This was, they had this hanging on the wall in their room, uh, totally stitched up. It was just gorgeous. I believe this is Needlework Press's version. And this is, I'm sorry, I didn't read the whole thing. I believe this is Gigi's, and they put them both in this book, IDL 1806 and EH 1811, just beautiful. And the piece hanging on the wall in their room at market was just stunning. So there's that. Now this year's version, Dutch Steps Duo, again collaboration between Gigi and Needlework Press. This is the Dutch Steps of Life. 1790. It's kind of hard to see. This is the original on the front. And this looks like the reproduction. Sarah. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Sarah Sampler. So there you go. Um, I'm not going to say any more about it because I haven't read the back, so I'm not really sure what I'm talking about here. Okay, here's another one, a series of Quaker medallions. This is kind of neat. You can um, use it to do little spot samplers, you can put together a biscornu, you can make up your own stuff. Make up your own designs. Another popular one, the busy, little busy bee. Looks like a red sampler. And this is a, whoops, this is a verse, a verse by Sir Isaac Watts. Very pretty. The room was very crowded every time I went in there, so I didn't get to study that model too well. But sometimes, literally, you have, you know, less than five minutes to be in and out of a room. This is Eleanor Brad. Our best friends are those who tell us our faults and teach us how to correct them. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now, coming up with um, Needle Made Designs. They share a room with Needlework Press. And this is uh, designs from Linda Vinson. And she has some very beautiful designs there. This is Gracie Palmer. Rachel Long, sorry for the glare, 
red house. I like that border. It's kind of unique. Look like T's. Little capital T's all over. Um, oh, that's Gracie Palmer also. This is another needlework press. Redwork sampler, Catherington, 1882. Um, those are not needlework press. This is from Sampler's Not Forgotten. This was probably, I told you guys um, in our last video that I really love the chair stitches that Whitman's Tin. And this one is also in my stash. I had to purchase this little bird. It is just so, so pretty. Sweet Finch. This is Rose Bouquet Kit. Whoops, sorry. That's really pretty. Little rose design. And this comes with the threads and the velveteen in the back and your stitching fabric. Looks like an, some ribbon in there. And same thing with, let me put this away. Same thing with the Sweet Finch. It has all your supplies in there. Your linen, backing fabric, the rickrack trim, needle, looks like some beads, button. Catherine Negus, beautiful sampler. Love all those little motifs on there. Okay, moving on, whoops, wrong place. Moving on to the primitive hair. Now, her room was always crowded, so I didn't really get a chance to look at all these models in person. Um, and I don't know that I have all of them left here. I think we've run out of some. So if you don't see something, um, it can be ordered. Just like with any of these designs, if I'm out of something, it can be ordered. And I've been ordering all week. Okay, spring, here's Queen of the Needles. Little, little cute little bunnies. It looks like inside it's both sides. So that's the outside and there is the inside. Okay. This one is the Raven. Very popular. Now she did a series of these designs on this fabric which I will show you. This, oops, this is the fabric. Let me turn it the right way so you can see. Have some of that. I'll show you that a little bit later also. Here's the hair, that same series. And there's one more of the wolf. Yeah, the wolf. And she had a couple of these last market, last year's market too, so. Um, so you can see here's the fabric with that writing on it. Also has some old Salem linen. This is 30 count. And this one, the Bolin, um, is also 30 count. Okay. Some little pin sets. She had a couple um, designs. There's like a mermaid one. I think we're out of it, but there's these pins that go with it with the lighthouse. Um, here's a, a whale. I think that's what it was called. Mother whale fob. A couple designs. I think we sold out of those already. But like I said, any of that can be reordered. Here is um, Puppet and Company. Some needle nannies. There's a little froggy. A bee, birdhouse, this one's great. The flying pig, that's in the center. There's the frog flanking the uh, pig. That's another bee. More birdhouse, bee, really cute. Butterfly, these are uh, needle threaders. The flying pig needle threader. And that's a frog, it's kind of tilted. There you go. You can see them better there. 
Okay, that's just a little magnetic section, a little rack that we have here. Okay, Shepherd's Bush. This is their annual uh, sheepy kit in your Easter bonnet. Complete kit comes with the fabric, the threads, the ribbon, um, and this is, I believe, on 10 count tulip, or it could be 18 count. Oh, it's 18 count white linen. Okay and the button, and I'll show you the button in a little bit more detail. So there you can get the complete kit, or you can just, whoops, I don't wanna show the whole pattern, but you can get, how do I show this? You can get the button, this is the Easter bonnet button, and it comes with the free pattern when you order the button. So the button is $8, and um, if you want the button, just let us know, otherwise you'll get you can order the free kit. Now this was a needle presses room. They had free tea samples and um, this is what we have left. There were, there were other flavors, other designs, but they had it really cute. This is um, Vicki's tea that she likes. So there's a design. I can't really show you the picture without showing you the the pattern so each each tee gets a different design that goes with it and then if you want to just like some of the tee without a pattern in it we have that we have that this one's green passion I think we had all of them except we've sold out of this is what we have left with the big the big size I think this has like 18 uh, tea bags in it and then the pattern that goes with it let me just check one thing. I'm going to go away from there. No, that's not. I thought maybe that was the pattern on the front, but it's not. Okay, Noteworthy Needle. She has a series of thimble flowers and thimble, I guess, boxes. Thimble treasure, she calls them. And each month, there's a different um, flower, of course, for your birth month. Here's the flower one. So. This is January, there's February, um, there's, this is the birthstone. They're all little thimble boxes. There's thimble box for January for the birthstone. I thought there was one more, maybe not, maybe just those two. We have all the other um, months for your birthstone and birth flower, whatever you decide. This, these are the two most recent that we picked up at market. And that, again, I said was from Noteworthy Needle. Um, along here, there's more Shepherd's Bush to come, but we have to wait till we get there. Okay, this is cute from Old Colonial Designs. It doesn't want to stay up, so I'll just... Turkey Time with Fred, and it's a cute little turkey. And it has the... Um, you make it like into a little pillow. And then you can see it has the thread, the fabric, whoops, the finishing fabric, and a cute little kit. And Pam Reed is the designer of Old Colonial Design. She always does nice little kits. This one is simply adorable. It is, this nest is best. And it's literally, I don't know if you can see on the ruler here, it's not even two inches wide. It's probably an inch and a half wide. And it is small. It's like a two inch tall little drum. It includes the chart, fabric, threads, needle, finishing items, and all the finishing instructions. There you can see everything in there in the kit. I think, does that have the ruler? I don't know. There was something in there. It's, oh, oh no, that's the stuffing, little pellets. Another beautiful one is Alphabet Sampler Palette. This includes the palette, and there's a sweet little design, the, your vowels, and your numbers. And there's your palette, and all your threads and fabric and all that. Everything is, this is a complete kit. Everything is in there, and she gives you instructions how to mount it on the front like that. Okay, now I said back to Shepherd's Bush. Okay, this is 
cheap needle case. So you make like a little um, a folding like a little needle book. You can see where the needles are on that little piece of wool felt. There's a little design stitched. Sweet is the life marked in needle and thread. That's really sweet. And then the little sheepy design. Again, complete kit. Fabric, thread, wool, trim, chenille. It's all in there. Shepherd's Bush, Little Blessings. This is a pillow. That's pretty, really pretty for spring. And this is a kit with your chenille trim, your threads, your fabric to stitch on. It's really cute. Some little accessories, uh, some little ribbons they had. Um, a lot of times people like to use these silk ribbons to finish off their pillows. These are all, you know, shepherd's bush type colors. There's more needle threaders from Puffin. There's a little bee, skep, little owl. Oh, and I have some more bees. These go to one of, oh, this set. These are the pin sets for this design. And these are called Bless, Blessings, something like that. Okay, um, a needle pulling thread bag. So these are popular. They do these not every year, but once in a bloom when they come out. And this is a pre-made um, little bag, a pouch. And there's that front little area where you can stitch on. And this one says, so a needle pulling thread. And that again, complete kit. You can see the striped, that's the bag that you stitch on. You can see the zipper in the front. It's already all assembled for you. You just do the stitching. It has um, the threads and the buttons, everything that you need to finish this little kit. Okay. This one is Bless Our World Treasure Box. These, they come out with these periodically too, where it's the little design that fits, it mounts into this little treasure box. Um, if I find one, I'll show you, but they're, they're, they're pretty small. This is a kit with your threads and your fabric. And they have other designs, like I said, that fit into this box. And you can change them out if you, you know, want to change your decor a little bit. This is, would be really pretty for spring. Oh, and again, bless our world. Yeah, that's what we need right now. Okay, uh, sweet friend tag. They've had several of these um, different tag designs. They show them sometimes put on those sleds. Uh, you can paint them. We had some ones for Valentine that we made up. Uh, we spray painted the sleds pink and then put the design on. This would be really pretty if you designed or designed, if you stitched and spray painted your sled, I don't know, white or yellow or any of that, you know, turquoise something. These are complete kits. They have the threads and they have the perforated paper in the back. Very cute. Okay. I think that's it for Shepherd's Bush. Oh no, there's a few bigger uh, kits, but those are elsewhere. They didn't fit on the rack. Um, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the designer called the Purple Thread. Well, anyway, she does stuff in complete kits also. And these were just lovely. This is called Always Lavender. And it's a little lavender sachet. And she actually gives you the lavender. You can see and you have your complete kit here with your thread, your backing fabric, your any trims, and the lavender to stuff it. And these smell divine. It was wonderful going in her room and smelling all the lavender. Just something you can stitch maybe for a friend if you have like a secret stitcher pal or someone and you can stitch it for them and send it to them or just tuck it in your own lingerie drawer. Here's uh, another kit called Every Stitch Has a Story. Again, a complete kit. Thread, backing fabric. Looks like the little jump rings so you can hang your, um, like here you can hang your threads from there. It's kind of a cute little thing, cute little way to tuck it in your stitching bag to keep track of your threads for a particular project. 
These are a small little pocket, flower pops. She makes the cutest little projects and the finishing is just so much fun. Trims, fabric, backing fabric. These, this would work up really fast. Stitch that so that looks like a little miniature chair, maybe in a little dollhouse or something. That's probably about the size of it. Um, we'll get back to these in a minute. This is Joseph's workshop. He's the one, remember I showed you um, this sampler palette from Mole Colonial? Well, Joseph's workshop makes those thread palettes, and this is called the Colonial Tulip Set. You can see the palette is similar. It's got little um, X design, little flowers in the corner, and that's what they did. They just kind of mimicked that little flower design for the front and mounted it in the middle of this board. They also make these cute little things. They're called Timely Trinkets. So every month he has a new version. And I, I've showed these before in different videos. I've showed like the snowman. Well now here's February. It's called Toad, Totally Yours. And if you can see on the side of the if you can see it in here. That's upside down, sorry. You can see the heart cut out on the side. That's for February. March is Lucky, Lucky You. And that corner is the little shamrock. And these are complete kits too. You've got the little box. If I can show you. Yeah, you have the box with you provide your own. Oh no, there's fabric in there. Fabric and there's threads in there. So it is a complete kit. And then the April one, April showers. Huh. This is little birds carrying umbrellas. Very cute. And if I can see, oh yeah, there's the umbrella. I'm trying to get, okay, so you can see the umbrella. So there'll be one for every single month. I think they started with October. So it was October, November, December, and then now we're through April. Uh, let me come down here. We'll finish with purple thread down here. This is a little kit called Wildflowers. It's a little, like a hanging necklace, I guess you could call it. And it's got a piece of wool felt on the back. The front part is stitched. She's got some little beads and little danglies. So it's kind of a little kit. It's all contained in there. I can't show you because it's all sealed up, but that's all in there. Um, we had some thread stickers. Oh, I believe um, the Serial Starter bought hers. This is the other version. She bought the ones that said, um, oh, it was, I can't remember. I'm blanking out on it, what it was called, but anyway, I knew Laura was going to buy it. So this is the other one, Other Little Girls, Early Portraits, I think something ladies, something I can't remember, but she did get them. Okay, new from the Heart and Hand, this new size heartware bowl, this, it's a smaller version, and Cecilia has done these little toppers, pocket rounds she's calling them, so this one is Flower. And then she has this one called Snowman. And you could just make an ornament. You don't have to get this hardware bowl. You can do whatever you want. You just make like a little pin disc, however you want to finish it. Uh, this from Noteworthy Needle. It's called Ring Around the Bracelet. And it is actually a small little uh, circle design that you stitch and it mounts on a metal bracelet which you just, I'm assuming you glue it on there. And then this little piece of stitching jewelry you get to wear and show off your talent with your needle. The next two in the fragments of time for 2020. She has her Virtue series. This one is in Industry and Economy. Okay. 
This is, oh, a series. Well, before I get there, let's go to Beth Twist. She made these stitching labels. They're fairly funny, I think. They're not morbid. I thought at first maybe they might be morbid, but they're not. Um, this one here. Upon my death, I bequeath the work of my hands to, and then you put the person's name. I mean, come on, people. We're all going to die. Maybe we don't want to talk about it, and maybe we like to think we're invincible, but this would be a nice way to actually stick this on the back of your needlework so that there's no fighting over them when you're gone. And the people that you want to get the needlework actually get it because you've done it and labeled it all ahead of time. And for sure, it's not going to go to Goodwill if you have their name on it. At least I would hope whoever is taking care of your estate wouldn't do that to you. But anyway, there's um, the different designs, you like you can see there. All four of these designs are in this little package. And then there's this one. This is called Bones and Urns. And all those designs are inside here. I don't know. I, some people like them, some people don't. I think they're, they're kind of neat. So you know exactly who's getting what. Ladies Garden Journal. Have you guys seen this? It's, this is my friend Beth. She started out with, I'm not showing you a picture of a box. Okay, so the first design is called Sweet William. And if you can see on this, see how it's all done? It, all the designs, it's like a little accordion. It's a little journal and on the front you have your initials right over here. You put your initials on the front of the box. And each month you get like um, this one is Sweet William, which is this pattern here. And then this is gonna be a series. So then you'll have the other designs. Of course, she's not showing them. And, but this is the finishing kit. It includes all the boards, the mounting board, um, everything that you need, just about. Yeah, the eight wooden boards, mat boards, twill tape to join them together and the chart for you know to do this front design with your initials. She has a few other little accessory items that go with it. Um, just kind of little fun things. There's a cloth, one of those microfiber cloths, let's say Ladies Garden Journal on it. And she also has this little thread floss ring. I can get a better picture. Ladies Garden Journal. So we have an automatic set up for this. If you're interested, if you'd like to get the design, the finishing kit, any of the other little accessories, just let us know and we'll take care of that for you. And you won't have to worry about um, when the next releases come out. Uh, we'll just automatically send it to you. Okay, this, I loved this piece. It's a little pillow. It's called Chronicles of Olean Marie. And you got a little scissor fob pattern and this little pillow pattern. This is taking, taken from, she has an old sampler and she just kind of did her own little thing from it. But this is volume one, you know there's gonna be more coming. It was inspired by this, by like I said, this Norwegian sampler that she has. She doesn't have a picture of it on here, but perhaps she will show us in another iteration of her future release. This might appeal to some uh, younger stitchers, the coverlet, or just coverlet lovers in general. It's really pretty. Okay, and here, those of you I don't know that I showed it, maybe I did, the Memorial Day pattern from Kathy Haberman of Hands On Design. Well, anyway, her and Beth kind of collaborated a little bit. This is Beth's design, Liberty Hill Farm, two drum designs. The one that just says Liberty, or there's this little Americana house. There it is. 
kind of laid out flat so you can see the whole design and not just the one portion. So anyway, the, what the collaboration is, not that the designs are a collaboration, but that the threads, if you buy this pattern and you buy Kathy Haberman's Memorial Day, you can use the same threads. It, there's a little sulky pack. And speaking of, tucked down here, I have the sulky pack. These are the colors that are used in both designs. And you don't have to stitch either one of them, but I mean both of them. You can stitch just one or the other or both. And there's also this little um, flower pack. Pin, oh, she's got them both on here. This pin pack with the wool felt flowers. She's already gone ahead and cut them out for you. And those adorn the top of those drums. So that's an option. Just stitching along, this is Krista, Krista Gramer. This is Miss Mary Barker, 1830. Love those birds. Those of you who know Nancy, my sister is um, stitching Miss Lucy from Krista also. This one is the Beekeeper's Cottage. E. Dalton. Okay, from this is gentle. Whoops, gentle pursuit designs. Eliza's pocketbook. I think they used to wear these, like the real version way back when. They used to wear them, I believe, in like under their skirt or something, and they'd keep their money in there. The ladies of long ago, those genteel ladies. Uh, Queen Compendium. Looks like a little needle book. I don't know if those are pockets in there. I think they're pockets. And these come with, oh no, this doesn't come with the spools. I thought it did. Oh, so here's a different picture. Let me try to hold that better for you. It's like a little booklet. Very nice. Okay. Um, we are already at half an hour, so I think I'm going to stop here for now. I don't want to bore you too much. Although I hope you're not bored looking at all this, these wonderful goodies. Maybe I'll just go a little bit further and we'll finish this up, this little rack here. Um, we're getting into, oh, sorry, Annie B's folk art. This is the Haynes sampler. I love this. She said something about she did this for her daughter. I think that's her daughter's last name. That's really, really pretty. I like the sampler a lot. I like the little people. That could be her daughter, and maybe they have a cow? I'm not sure. Sorry, Annie. <laughs> I'm making up stories here. Don't listen to me. You guys are probably friends with Annie on Instagram or Facebook or something. I'm sure she'll tell you the whole story. Uh, I'll finish up the shepherd's bush and then we'll continue on uh, next time. So then they also came out with winter notes. This is just pattern only. And you guys, look at those little, the little small little pillows. Don't those look like they're bigger? They're not. They're maybe like an inch big. They're so teeny tiny. They were the most adorable little things. I had no idea they were that little. And I was kind of shocked. Kind of how I was when I did a few videos ago that Thanksgiving. I put the, together that Thanksgiving pillow and it was, you know, like this big. I had no idea it was that small. Here's summer notes. Again, these little pillows are darling. They're so cute and little. You could have like a whole bowl of them. That was summer notes. And we do um, stock these. You can get them with the buttons too. We'll sell either the pattern by itself or the pattern with the buttons. And last shepherd's bush that I will show you today is the lessons. It's really pretty. 
This one's a kit also with the threads. Looks like silk threads and the fabric. Buttons, beads, whatever else is on there. Trim. Okay, so there's a lot more to go, guys. Um, I just showed you from basically that corner over to here. But as I'm walking back, you see there's still more to show you. So um, I will record next time. Thank you so much. There's more over there. Thank you so much for um, all your orders that you've been sending in. I was really scared when I found out about having to close my shop because we're in Illinois and we're under stay-at-home orders. Um, I was really scared how I was going to keep my little shop going if no customers could come in the store, but thank you to everyone that has um, sent in an order. I really appreciate it. Everyone here appreciates it, and as long as I can continue to ship, that's what I'm going to do. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, you're keeping not just my brick and mortar, but every brick and mortar that's around around the world. Just remember your brick and mortars um, because where else could you go and touch the fabric, look at the colors, look at the fibers hanging on the wall. Where else could you do that? I'll just show you a quick little. These are some Belsois from Classic Colorworks. Gloriana silks. And then we have silks from the Thread Gatherer Silk and Colors. We have Tudor silks. We have some Florimel. I mean, you guys have been buying, so I have some holes in my in my thread but trust me we're trying to turn it around as fast as we can dinky dies up there we have swa cristal from karen collection threadworks threads and then we have some other miscellaneous threads and button packs i mean we've got tons of stuff here but like i said thank you so much i appreciate it we all do we all appreciate it so Keep stitching, stay safe. We'll all get through this together. Hopefully sooner rather than later. And thanks again for watching. And I hope I've been able to show you something today that you haven't seen before. So Floss Tube, thanks again. And we will see you next video. Bye-bye. And one last thing, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to show you these models. I brought these home with me from Market. Uh, Karen Kluba and I always do an exchange at Market and at Needlework Galleria. And she gives me some new models to take home, and then I return the old ones. So I wanted to show you some of her newer releases. This one is Home Words. It's kind of fun if you look, huh, see the fun word, fun, friends, welcome, home, sweet. I don't know if she gives directions uh, to change some of those words, but I bet you could. You know, as long as it fit in the squares or you can like rearrange it, maybe that would be kind of interesting if you made up your own words. So that's new. This one is not new, um, but it's Twinkle Twinkle. That would be so cute in a child's room. And I don't know if you can see the sparkle. She's got it stitched with a lot of Krynik threads or a rainbow gallery. I'm not sure. I don't have the pattern in front of me. This one is called Amazing Friend. Here is Spring Hill. And sorry for there's like a shadow. They're sitting and they're kind of underneath a shelf here on my counter. This one's getting a lot of talk. I love that hill. I love that bird. It's just gorgeous. Normally, Karen's aren't so solidly filled in. But this is really something else to see. And to see it in person, I just, this is part of what makes me so sad. We have these beautiful models hanging here, and no one can really come in and see them. So I hope that 
This gives you a little better idea. It's better than the picture and the chart. This one is Dorney Lane. And I'll see if I can't maybe. No, I was going to try to pull it up a little bit, but I'm sorry about the shadow, but that's you'll have to overlook that. And this one, Gary, this is for you because I know you were eyeballing it. I think Karen sent you this chart. Here's the model. And trust me, it is way more beautiful than, than the chart picture. Hunter Gatherer. Look at the frame on this piece. Back up a little bit. It's like a tree trunk. It's just amazing. I'll see if I can't get in a little closer on some of these little animals. This color fabric is from Picture This Plus. It's called Shale. Everyone, I must have orders for yards of this stuff because everyone wants shale. I don't know if there's another designer that's using this color. Right now, Karen, I think, is the only one that, that I know of that has um, come out with a new release on this color. Just so pretty. Okay, Hunter Gatherer. And Flowers of the Seasons. This is not new, but uh, this I saw and I'm like, oh, I've never had this model in my shop before, so I thought this would be something pretty. You could stitch these separately, you could hang them up, you could switch them out, but I like how she has them just all in this one little frame, Flowers of the Season. Okay, thanks for taking a little tour with me, guys. And I do have more of Karen's models, but I will show you those next time. One last look around. Okay, everyone, have a great week. And I will see you again soon in a new video. Bye-bye.